Here's another thing. Surveying and routing your materials to your storage facility. Okay, first thing you need to do in order to survey is, well, you see all these. The lines that aren't glowy, hence this one right here, means that it is not routed or any of that or extracting. I have these right now moving and doing their thing. So first things first, on the far left, this button right here says survey for deposits. It's a little bullseye sort of thing with an arrow pointing down. So we're going to click on that. It'll show you this saying it's surveying. Again, for the sake of my time and yours, I'm going to choose the shortest cycle time, which is 5 minutes and produces 706 units of heavy metal. So we're going to do that. Then you hit, so after you click on this right here, say install. And it'll bring you out to the products tab, which is this right here. It's a little circle with two arrows and a dot in the middle. So we say create route. And as you can see right here, it says no destination selected, meaning it's not routed yet. What we are going to do is route it to our storage facility right here and click create route. So now we have successfully routed and surveyed as well as started extracting materials. Again, there's going to be another time lapse here. I'm sorry. So here we go. Okay, so here we are. I've already started producing. Or, well, I really haven't, but I'm going to I'm going to walk you through the steps. So, after you have completed one or two cycles on these and got about 3000 units of in this case heavy metal is what we're mining from over here. We have noble metals up here. We're not going to bother with this. That's another time. Um, so I've let it complete two cycles and feed into our storage facility. What you need to do from there is go into here, select your heavy metals, and create a route over here into your industry facility. This needs to be, if you are just starting and this is the first level of production, you need to be feeding into the basic uh, industry center, which is what we have right here. And I showed you and explained this early in the video. Blah, blah, blah. You get, you know. So, we're doing this. It's in production. What you need to do is let's come up back over here, click on storage, and go to heavy metals. To find out what you need to make with your product that you have mined or produced or extracted, whatever you want to call it. You come over here, it'll say, in this case, heavy metals up here. You have description, attributes, product, uh, production info. Extracted by structures. Now, here you can see where you can get it from. In this case, for heavy metals, you can get it off of lava planets, plasma planets, and ice planets. We're going to say, and what you can do with the heavy metal is make toxic metals, which is what we're producing in our facility right here. In order to produce, you click on the schematics tab, click on this drop down menu, and find what you want to make. So, and then right here we have what it takes the input, which is what it takes in, you need 3,000 units of heavy metal, and it outputs 20 units of toxic metals. And for most advanced production, it takes about two cycles worth of the le of the lesser to make one cycle of the more uh, expensive consumer goods. So after that is done, we're actually going to feed this into these up here, these production, uh, these storage facilities that put down, which are going to then feed into the spaceport. So, what we're going to do is then route it here, and then I'll take it back to the spaceport and show you later how to get it off planet. Um, I'm going to let this complete a cycle, 
do a little time lapse. We'll be back. Okay, so as I said before in the video, I'm going to show you how to export your items from your planet. Right now, on this colony, I have two different methods that I can that can be used to export from my colony. I can use my spaceport and export directly to the customs office where I have 25,000 cubic meters, or I can run for I can do use the command center and just launch containers into orbit. They only last about five days, so. Here we go. Let's take a look and get this out. So, I've already transported the materials into the different places. I'm, I've already shown you, but just in case you're not sure, you can do this. One, you can click on the material that's there and create a route. And but another b a method, if you want to do it really quickly, is an expedited transfer. An expedited transfer will allow you to move all of the material into one location. For instance, let's say I had toxic metals and it was over here. I can add all of this all of this material into this column right here, the to be transferred column, and then it will go into the desired location. So I'm already at the customs office. I've already warped there. And so we're going to start with the plasma launch pad. All you have to do for this is click the launch button when you click on the launch pad. Click here, say add, and export, export it from planet. Ex pretty much the exact same thing as running an expedited transfer. Just, you know, going to a different place. You're going into space. So that's done. I have my toxic metals in my cargo hold. I'm all happy. Let's go poison people. I'm kidding. Um, okay, so on to the other method. Now, getting to this one is slightly more complicated as you actually have to go into your journal and warp to it. I will show you how to do this. So, let's add all of these, including some of the... Uh, yeah, let's add, just add it all because I already have other cycles going. So let's do that. We're going to transfer all of this. So what I did is go to launch, click on this, on each thing, add them to this list. Now what we're going to do is say go for launch. A, count, a countdown timer will start and your materials and products will be exported into space in a container. Now what we're going to do is go to the journal, find the planetary launches tab, and right here it will show you the time left, the system, what planet, and the time it was launched at. You need to right click on that launch and say warp to location. So right now we are aligning to the point. We're going to go pick up all of the materials. So, as you can see, we're warping and warping and just went through the planet. And now we're on the other side. Here are our materials. Is that even a cargo container? I mean, seriously? Looks like it's debris. Uh, let's take a look. Ah, it's just a bunch of stuff. It's like a cargo container with a rocket. Anyways. So what you're going to do is open up this container, and here are all of your materials and products that you may have made. Drag them down to your cargo hold, and you're done. So now we have successfully built a colony, mined or produced materials, produced consumer products, moved them into storage, and then exported them off planet. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And good luck. Fly safe.